So Stuart, uh, your thoughts on what was a, a very tight game today, but mm -hmm. ultimately one that allowed us to, to go for fabulous four wins. Uh, fabulous, Brian. I think when you're uh, you can go any time, you can win three or four games on the trot in this competitive league. Always won with the cup, but it was still against Cove. Uh, it's great, and it was a tight game as you said. And it, sometimes it's really nice when you win games like that. We're maybe not at our best, and I thought it was a bit scrappy, but to go and dig out a result and, and keep a clean sheets. Uh, Massive compliment to the, the group of players uh, and even the subs that come on. Everybody, again, it's a group effort uh, and we'll need that. Uh, but yeah, we're over the moon, there's no doubt about that. I think for anybody looking at the score at half time, the score's coming in and seeing it a 0 0 might have thought there, there wasn't a lot going on, but I, I actually thought it was a very kind of entertaining game. I thought both good side. teams yeah, had, I had a chance. They're a, they're a, uh, Daz is a really good coach and he's got a right good side there as well, so we knew it was going to be tough uh, going into the game uh, and it's certainly that. It's few and far between. I don't think there was a lot of clear cut chances in the game, but there's plenty, plenty of effort and energy within it, uh, and we're just happy enough that uh, Kane takes his chance. Brilliant. Uh, towards the end, they went, they went dig in and would defend really well uh, in the last 10 15 minutes of the game. Yeah. You talk about the goal and Kane obviously finishing it really well. The move itself kind of came from another kind of dribbling run from, yeah. from yeah, Miller. He, he's a good. talented lad. Maybe, maybe not had the same influence as he did last week, but, but still. No, I thought came he, up with he, he, he was a couple of runs him and Craig made first half and uh, just some good challenges from the Sterling defence that never broke through because that's what we're looking for them to do is break beyond their, their defenders and, and probably just got stopped. Second half, he's a wee bit quiet. We, we decided to put him a little bit higher up. Uh, and allowed us to bring Terry on the game as well and then he's run for the goals and he's standing but that's what he does he, he does that great he's got he's a hell of a talent a young lad so uh, we're, we're glad to have him Were you frustrated at all? I, I felt in the first half they're obviously well organised at the back and, and as much as we kind of tried to, to kind of pick hold in it, I thought they, they, they defended really well I thought they defended great I think that's had them set up kind of like 4-1-4-1 four, one, four, one for us or that's where we looked at it, upon it and it's going to be difficult to break teams down and you're going to have to accept that uh, I think uh, teams come and give you a bit of respect now at, at Montrose, so uh, in that sense it, it can be a little bit difficult. We're trying to pass it, keep moving it quickly, that's what we're, the instructions we're trying to get on the pitch to the guys. And then if it was a case of could we get it over the top to, because obviously the pace up front we've got now with, with Kane, Graham and, and Blair is, is, is outstanding, so uh, if we can use that to our advantage we'll, we'll try that. And it must, you must be delighted to be able to, to kind of bring Kerr on at the end, get him kind of back on the pitch. Great to see the big fella back and just doing what he always does, just goes and tries to win headers and tries to win every header, even if he can't win it. Uh, but yeah, really good to get him back on the pitch. Uh, uh, and again, uh, Liam coming on, done really well as well, and all the boys did it come on. But again, they guys have been out for a, for a long time and they're now getting back into the squad. And it's good, it gives us competition, uh, but there's a right, real togetherness now with the guys in there uh, and they're all celebrating in there with, with what's a, a big, big win for us. Yeah. I mean, as well as, as getting his goal, Kane came close to getting a second towards the end of a great run. Just, just kind of run out of legs. Just run out of legs a little bit, yeah. Uh, keeper makes a good save from him, but that's what he gives you. That's yeah. what he gives you. And he, he's taking on the responsibility. I think with, with Rory moving on, uh, it looks like he's taking on that responsibility of being, being with number nine, uh, which is great. Uh, and again, there's nothing better than striker scoring goals and he'll be happy enough for his weekend again. Yeah. So you, we, we talked about good getting getting Kay, Kay, sorry Kerr and, and Liam back on the pitch. One or two absences today. Uh, Andy, look. Andy's uh, Gina. Hopefully at this moment in time we oh, will be in labour. We're hoping, uh, and we're, we're fingers crossed everything goes well for them with their, their first child. So we knew that we knew Andy would be missing today. Uh, Big Luke was actually going to start today at left back, uh, but he phoned me just just before lunchtime. He was struggling with he'd had a tooth out uh, with an abscess, so he just been sick all morning and uh, was feeling lightheaded and a bit dizzy so we just told him to stay away so we just put Matthias in Matthias seems to play every position for us so uh, the wee man went in at left back and did fine uh, but yeah we'll hopefully have them two back in the squad next week uh, we've got no new injuries hopefully touch wood uh, Paul, Paul he's got um, he had a, an abscess I think it was an ingrown hair actually, uh, but it's turned a bit nasty for him, so he's uh, we've been comfortable with that. So we're, we're hoping that once he gets antibiotics to start working, it, that Paul will be available again next time. So up to up to third in the league, and mm -hmm. uh, yes, we travel we travel away after two home games here. We yeah. head to Falkirk. Yeah, it's great. I, I think uh, saying earlier on the reporters, it's disappointing you lose your first couple of home games because ultimately in this league you need to be doing well at home because uh, it's so competitive and it's difficult away to win games away from home so to lose the first two I thought was 
it was disappointing and we didn't play well in them. Uh, but since then, we've had a good turnaround uh, and now we travel to one of the, uh, the title favourites. There's no doubt about that. Falkirk are going great under John and, and Paul and there'll, there'll be a, a real test for us. But one we're looking forward to, we've, we've got good experiences going to Falkirk in recent years. So let's see if we can um, go and get something next Saturday from them. Well done. Cheers, Brian. Awesome.